Heading into uh, bye week, uh, some things uh, just uh, uh, fill you all in on, on what, what the plan is moving, moving forward. Um, we, will, uh, we started game prepping for Maryland uh, yesterday. Uh, we all know how important a Maryland game is. Every game is important. This one uh, uh, we know is pretty important. We've, we've, uh, I've been fortunate to go against them going on my fifth year now. Uh, so know what this game means to our team and our school and, and our fan base. Same thing for them. Uh, fortunately for us, we get two weeks to, <coughs> to, to deal with it where they only get one week to deal with it. But uh, such is the schedule. It's gonna, we're going to be on the flip side of that uh, two weeks from now when Oklahoma has a game, uh, a bye week when, when we're playing Maryland. So it, it all evens out in the end. Uh, but uh, we, we started game prepping for them yesterday, and, and we'll uh, focus on those guys pretty exclusively here Tuesday, today, and tomorrow uh, to get a get a week ahead. Um, you know, Thursday we'll have a big team lift and and uh, get after them a good bit in the weight room and and condition them a good bit, and then Friday and Saturday we'll give them uh, two days off to. Uh, uh, just be normal. You know, you don't have too many opportunities to be able to do that when you're when you're in the weekly grind of of, of uh, game week. So we we have an opportunity to be able to do it. This is really all, <clears throat> our only traditional bye week because the next one is is sandwiched in with the Thursday game at TCU. So it, it's going to be a little bit different structure when when it comes to that week. Uh, so let them get away, and, and our coaches need to get out on the road and recruit. We'll send, we'll send coaches all over the country. There's uh, ten of us going out, myself and, and the other nine will be out and about, um, seeing as many games as we possibly can on Thursday and Friday and seeing as many coaches as we can on Thursday and Friday. <laughs> we back to work on Sunday. We'll be back in here Sunday for a normal Sunday and, and game week after that. So. Um, yes, we've watched Maryland and we, we've started focusing on them a little bit. But with that said, you know, there's there's no game uh, here this week, so uh, we'll focus on ourselves and, and 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 getting healthy. Ideally, I'd like about four games prior to a bye week. Um, but uh, again, there's nothing we can do about the schedule, so uh, we should be in a good place when we go play uh, Maryland or when they come play here. Um, a, a week from this Saturday. So that, that's kind of where we're at. I'd, I'd open it up for some questions if you all have any. Dana, two games into this, good or bad, what do you know that you didn't know two weeks ago? Mm. I think you, you, you will constantly keep figuring out things about your team. You know, it's, it, it's not just week one to week two. It's, uh, you know, you, you're going to find out <laughs> some, some things about how guys develop in week 10 and week 11 probably as well. So, um, you know, I, I'm happy with where we're at. We, we, we know we're, uh, we're, we're, we're going to be pretty good defensively. A lot's been made of not living up to the expectations that we put upon ourselves uh, defensively, and, and that's what I told the team. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not disappointed in our defense whatsoever. I'm just reminding them that, that they're the ones that set the bar pretty high. And so that, that's that's with that's how we need to play. That's how we need to prepare. That's how we need to uh, uh, play defensively. Is 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 good, better than we played, based on the fact that we've done it before, and based on the fact that 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 we as coaches and we as players have set the bar pretty high. So offensively, we just need to keep getting better. And I do think we made improvement this past week. I think we did in, in the, the, the run game, and I think we did in the pass game. So uh, we're still doing some things right. We did a much better job of, of, of finishing uh, on offense. You know, our third down was, was a lot higher. Our, our red zone uh, was perfect. Uh, so we did a much better job of finishing, and we continued to do a good job of taking the ball. Special teams, <clears throat> I'm happy with where we're at there. Our, our coverage units have been good. Uh, our specialists have been outstanding with, with Nick and with Josh, you know, doing the job that they did. Um, you know, the, the, the return aspect of it we know needs to continue to evolve and get better, but I think we're all happy with where we're at, at that, uh, from that point of view as well. I want to make uh, reference to Nick Meadows <coughs> going in there and, and 
um, being about as nervous of a kid as I've seen in quite some time on, in pregame, getting out there, having his opportunity to play for the first time, and with with uh, De Palma uh, having some back issues at this point, he went out there and played well. So, uh, same thing with Al Benton. You know, just that that that's that's two examples of of what needs to exist if you want to win a lot of games. As the season goes on, you're going to have guys go down. If you get guys go in and are the players of the game for their respective units with first time starts then you're in a, you're in a good you're in good shape when you're off and the other team's playing is your biggest concern timing and being sharp when they're playing and you're off yeah probably so i mean there there if if there is a concern you know but we've played so much ball for the last 2 months you know i don't i don't think and what we'll do to combat that is is we'll practice today and tomorrow just like we would any normal game week you know and then you start backing off anyway uh, so we're going to back off uh, we will practice Sunday where we normally wouldn't practice Sunday so we'll come back in Sunday and, and, and do some full speed stuff Sunday evening um, to make sure that we're not uh, you know, uh, our timing's not off at all but yeah that, that, that's a little bit of a concern anytime you take two or three days off um, but there, there's a lot of positives that go along with it as well. Dan, uh, you talked about Sheldon Gibson kind of needing to not try to be the best in the country, be the best that he could be two times <coughs> in the first two weeks. Um, how has his development matched up with your expectations, and what do you think is the next step? One? <laughs> just, just consistency. You know, he, he's. Uh, I was excited to see the play that he made because that's something that I haven't really seen out of him. I haven't seen him catch rough but you know hard balls to to you know that the one he scored on was down at his knees and then on a post route he had to come back and catch one behind him so I was excited to see him make uh, what 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 appears to be a uh, non-routine catch for him you know him catching the ball over his shoulder is pretty routine uh, he still fights it coming back to it which we saw what happened in the in the end zone on that one play where he should have had a touchdown there? Uh, he he just needs to continue to relax and continue to gain comfort and confidence in his ability to be able to make the routine play. Um, so he he's he's on par with what I want him to be. When you went back and watched the defensive film, you talked about them not living up to their expectations. Was it mainly execution or effort? <clears throat> uh. Well, they go hand in hand. You know, if you if you're not given maximum effort, uh, you know, then you're you're not going to execute the way you, you we need to execute. You know, the the I, I stood here and was and talked about how well we tackled two weeks ago, uh, and then we get, turn around and we miss twice as many tackles this next week. That that's a that's a mindset. Uh, you know, being locked in <clears throat> and and playing with effort. Uh, there's a direct correlation in, in how many missed tackles you have. So we're, we're just a little sluggish for whatever reason. I don't know. You know, a little bit too comfortable, uh, just a little bit slow and a little bit sluggish. You know, those guys would be the first to admit that. <clears throat> it, it went hand in hand to what the entire day was, you know, compared to what it was the previous week. I don't care what the conditions are. I don't care what time of the day it is. Uh, whether it's here, whether it's on the road, it doesn't matter. You got to be able to have enough mental toughness to be able to play the same way every week. It might be too early uh, into your prep. Um, because, did you mention you just started it today? Or, mm -hmm. But uh, Maryland's going to play yesterday. yesterday. I actually worked yesterday, so okay. we, we watched. You know, we watched a bunch of it yesterday. Um, but they're going to start the kid. Maryland's going to start Caleb Rowe, quarterback over the Hills kid. Uh, does that change anything um, between those two guys? Uh, I, I don't know as much as Gibby does at, at this point. I haven't studied it enough uh, to know or talked with him about it, um, where normally I I've obviously would have done that. But, uh, you know, everything I've watched was more special teams and, and, and defensively with what they're doing. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I doubt it. <clears throat> and, and talking uh, with, with, with Tony as far as what um, Hills did as opposed to the Brown from the, week be the year before, it was a very similar offense. Uh, 
not quite as explosive because two of their guys are in the NFL, the two receivers that they had that we've had fits with over the last three years uh, are, are in the NFL. Um, it would be interesting to see this, this Saturday. It's one benefit that we have that they don't have is, is we can turn the TV on Saturday at noon and uh, watch the game against South Florida. To, to see where they're headed with it, so I, I don't know that that you know Sunday will come in, <clears throat> we'll, we'll break down that game exclusively to just like we do each and every week. What what the pro, the, the progress is from week one to two, week two, and then from week two to week three. So we'll be able to figure that out. Can it really change in a week's time? They can't, they, and they won't with the type of quarterbacks that they have. They're, 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 they may change a little bit. Uh, I doubt they're able to change a whole lot. I don't know why they'd change either. Coach Loxley's been there for what four years now, so I, I'm, I'm sure they they got the same plan now that they've had. Okay, you mentioned special teams. You'll face one of the best returners in the country. You saw him before. How did, I mean, is your coverage unit where you want it to be? Are they ready for this test? Yeah, and <clears throat> I'm 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 excited to watch it because we're going to face some pretty good returners throughout the course of a year. Um, you know, and, and <clears throat> he got us once last year. Uh, I think he got us twice. I can't remember, but uh, he, he's dang good now. Uh, he'll take some chances. But we need, we, need, uh, we, need, we need to rise to the occasion on it. <clears throat> I don't think we're just going to tell Nick to kick it out of bounds 10 yards downfield, you know, and we may – we may have to go for it a few more times or, or whatever, but uh, I, I think we've covered pretty good. And uh, like I said, we faced some NFL caliber return guys in the past, and we need to continue to be able to deal with that. It's part of the game. So I, I'm happy with our kickoff team right now. I mean, we, we you know, shoot, they haven't got it past the 25 this year. Uh, we're going to continue to get more speed <clears throat> on that field. And, you know, we need to get guys like, Muldrow and, and um, uh, Rasul, you know, Rasul's ready to go now. And uh, Gary Jennings is a guy that, that, that's coming along. And, and um, you know, Marvin Gross has done, has done good. Uh, uh, we'll probably get Thunderbird out there. We got some guys that we can put on there to get more speed on the field, you know, that have been covering kicks and, and – we probably need to do that maybe a little bit more with the pun aspect of it to get more speed on it. But I, I'm happy with where it's at, and I'm happy with the the ball placement. We got a we got a, we got a, we got a true task ahead of us, and you know it, it'll be fun to watch that. See how we do. Are you happy with the Reeves shells making, or is that an area that you expect? He needs to. He, he's he's uh, he's trying. You know he's trying, and I think I I, <clears throat> I think right now he's trying too hard. You know, and, and uh, he he's not uh, he he doesn't he doesn't he needs the ball more because the more he gets it, the more in rhythm he gets, and the stronger he gets. Um, so he he's he needs to he needs to perform a little better, and he knows that. And you know, we're going to get him the ball as much as we can. And talking about a guy that was close to a thousand yard guy last year, so he he's. Um, he, he's he's trying hard. He wants to be uh, good. He he just probably trying a little bit too hard. You know, he's, he's second guessing himself in a little bit, which you can't do that at running back. You got to hit it. <clears throat> uh, uh, you know, after Saturday's game, uh, Skyler was talking about the you know, zone read. Uh, you know, and he was saying you guys kind of impl uh, kind of implemented uh, ahead of the Iowa State game. Uh, Last year, I guess in the off season, how big of a focus was it, and was it some you guys, you know, kind of consistently worked on? Better if you don't keep working on that, you get you get uh, exposed pretty quick. <clears throat> you know, and there's been a we've lost yards on a couple of them. We haven't had a, a tremendous amount of, of negative plays offensively. Handful of them have been on pulling it when we shouldn't pull it, and and uh, handing it when we should have kept it. <clears throat> You know, so that that that's it, that's something you got to work on every day, and we made the decision to 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 do it in the off season. We worked it hard, and we will continue to work it to where we're efficient with it. Uh, you know, aside from his speed, what uh, you know, what, uh, you know, I guess because you need a, even 
you need a certain kind of quarterback to uh, to uh, you know just run those kind of plays. You know, aside from Skyler speed, what kind of makes him, you know such a good candidate? You know? <clears throat> hand hand strength. Uh, you know, because there's there's a handoff aspect to it where that ball is either in there or it's not in there. That's how the ball ends up on the ground a lot if you don't work it. So, you know, we, we work it a good bit, <clears throat> making good decisions on what the edge looks like. Uh, some of it's on me on, on what, what aspect of the play call that I actually call. You know, some of them are... Our, our naked uh, uh, keeps around the edge. Some of them we have blockers out there for them. So you know, there's a, 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 a scheme aspect to it that I got to continue to do a better job with, and then they got to do a better job on when they do, when they don't. And then it's just the day-to-day <clears throat> uh, aspect of, of working it, and you know when they keep it in there and when they pull it out of there. So it's been fun. It's been fun for me to learn a lot about it and. And um, work it, and it, it's become pretty valuable. It, it's help. It's helping our backside. I know that. Dan, I know you were thrilled with the way to kill Shorts played. Um, tell me, is he kind of like a security blanket for Skylar Howard, especially the way their chemistry looked on Saturday? Yeah, that that that's uh, some of the timing that I've been talking about uh, with Skylar and the new guys, the wideouts and the new guys with with Gary and Karan and Javon and. And Shelton on the outside, it doesn't really exist on the inside. The disconnect, <clears throat> because they've been together here for I guess three semesters, and you know Jordan Thompson's in that same boat. Uh, Dekeel's probably playing a little bit better, and he's a little bit bigger target uh, right now. Um, but uh, he, he he's playing well. You know he 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 needs to get more yards after the catch. Uh, you know, he, there are a lot of times he catches it and he falls down. So, so we've been working on him not falling down and running uh, to get more yards after the catch. But uh, he, you know, his his routes are good. He's got great ball skills. Uh, he, he's he's his, his blocking ability is really good. He made a lot of blocks on the perimeter. You know, for the run game and the pass game to be able to get yards. So happy with the way he's playing right now. Overall, is that receiver group pretty good blocking on the outside? It seemed like Shelton had even a couple of those springs got Yeah, he's soft, and Javon's soft. Uh, Gary's big and physical. Uh, you know, he, he brings a little bit of, of, of physical nature to the, the, the perimeter, as does the keel. I'm not, I'm not saying that about Javon and Shelton yet. They're trying. They're, they're trying. They, they, need, they need a few more cheeseburgers. Evaluate your offensive line play. Uh, Orlowski played really well last week. You know, here's the player of the game. It's it's tough for a lineman to get player of the game, isn't it, Wolf? Yeah. Were, you, were you ever player of the game? Once. One time? Yeah. Uh, in four years? It's hard for an old lineman to get player of the game just because there's not, uh, uh, you know, many opportunities for the spotlight to be on those guys, obviously. Uh, but Ty- Tyler's what makes us go offensively. He's he's the smartest guy I've been around up front. He he understands the schemes and what we're trying to do. It, it, it was funny. I I, I I I I gave him the player of the game because I mean we called a bunch of run plays now this last game. We threw a lot of them. We threw a lot of them. But a lot of times he was blocking for nobody. I'm like, geez, I could probably block for nobody because the spotlight's not on you. You know, who knows if you actually did a good job or not. Uh, but he, he, he's, he's doing really well. <laughs> Bosch had a better game. Marquise Lucas is, is playing well. Uh, you know, I, I was kidding. I don't remember who asked the question about Yadney last week. Obviously, I was kidding. He graded out like 95% two weeks ago, which was great. <laughs> Got exposed one time for the first time. He lost his mind and, and didn't play well for about two or three plays after that. So that was good for him. You know, but then he came back and bounced back and, and, and played well. So it, it, it's coming. The, the depth isn't what we wanted at this point. You know, we're, we're playing a lot of guys. <clears throat> uh, we're playing a lot of guys because in the fourth quarter we're able to get the seventh guy, the eighth guy, the ninth guy, and the tenth guy in there. Uh, those guys aren't progressing as much as I wanted them to at this point. So our, our, our second team guys need to keep coming. 
Dana, apart from the, the outcomes, um, have you been happy with the way the plays have been called and, and the decisions Skyler's made, you know, whether to throw a run or to give or, or keep it when he's inside the red zone? For the most part, <clears throat> uh, for the most part, you know, there's always going to be some, some bad decisions. I mean, <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of times last week where he should have kept it or should have handed it, but, I mean, it, when you have .5 seconds to make a decision, you're, you're not going to make the right one all the time, I can promise you. And, and you know, we're going to keep trying to put him in the best position we can play call-wise, but <clears throat> I've said that a bunch too. I mean, I'm not going to – I can assure you it's impossible to – call perfect plays all the time too because you don't know what they're doing defensively. They're going to keep changing that up.